Bruce Purdy received his mechanical industrial engineering degree from the University of Michigan and attended Harvard Business School. He cannot remember a time that he was not involved with the paper industry. His grandfather, Albert Weisenborn, president and one of the founders of the Appleton Wire Works, invented the powered mechanical Ford Rainier loom. His grandmother, Eleanor, taught the plant's women how to make sewed seams for wires. After his grandfather's death, Bruce began working as the company's only graduate engineer. His improvements ranged from the largest of machinery to the smallest of production line details. Several years of secret effort went into the development of the automatic loom, which shortened production time and resulted in a better product. His loom is one of the first automated Ford Rainier looms in the United States. Bruce oversaw construction and loom assembly for a new automated facility in Montgomery, Alabama. Known as the spark plug, Bruce was a team player, ready to encourage, get his hands dirty, and burn the midnight oil to solve a problem. Born in Appleton, Bruce was deeply committed to the community. In recognition for his untiring efforts, he received the Junior Chamber of Commerce Distinguished Service Award in 1960. After combining several charitable agencies, he was the first president of the United Community Services. He instigated the drive for the new YMCA building and the building of a new Edison School. As vice chairman of Citizens Aviation Advisory Committee and a director of the Chamber of Commerce, he campaigned for a new airport. Keeping Appleton Wire Works on the leading edge of the industry, Bruce was involved with plastic forming fabric. He modified an existing seaming method, which remains the production method of choice for seaming plastic forming fabric. At retirement, Bruce was presented with a plaque representing one of his many patents with over 100 claims. Though busy, Bruce made an effort to take time to enjoy life and his family. In 1990, his children celebrated his retirement as a director of Albany International. His daughter, Barbara Wright, became the first female director on the board. In 2004, Bruce and Barbara celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary. Family gatherings have now grown to 30. In the late 1950s, Bruce recruited the advice of local agencies to create a model farm. In 1961, surrounding schools participated in guided nature tours, which continued for over 30 years. Bruce continues to share the natural beauty of his land with the younger generation. In August of 2005, he donated over 100 acres of pristine woods and wildlife habitat, along with a 13-acre commercial site for a new YMCA and nature center. Bruce returned to Montgomery, Alabama in 2002 for the plant's 50th anniversary. He witnessed the operation of a finishing table he designed, which at the time of its installation in the 1960s was the largest finishing table in the country.